Hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, I just want to do a quick update on the Johnny Silvestri, I guess, story or whatever. But if you don't know, the YouTuber Swoop released, like, it's like a four-hour video, I think, on Johnny Silva history and how he's allegedly lied to a bunch of YouTubers like Ethan Klein and Swoop her, 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 herself and Jesse and Lily from the Do We Know Them podcast. And so I just wanted to make this video because I have defended Johnny in the past. Radiant Britain made a video saying that Johnny was kind of overshadowing the other victims when his story is not as severe. And I said, no matter what, he's a grooming victim, so he can tell his story however he wants. But recently it's come out that he's been invalidating other victims and harassing them, allegedly. I have to say that because I don't want to get sued. But also, he has been uh, accused of being in group ch chats with my hiners himself and grooming my hiners himself. Now, you could watch Swoop's whole video for a, an entire breakdown. I'm not going to do that in this video because Swoop has already done that, so there's no point in me doing it, but I, I will give a warning that there are a lot of bleeps in the video, and I know for most people that's not an issue, but I know at least for me, as someone with a pretty severe startle reflex, I don't like watching and listening to things with a lot of bleeps in them because it triggers my startle reflex. So, so in the beginning of video of the video, Swoop says she's gonna show us how he was in an online grooming ring, and she never shows us that, and that's really irresponsible to make these wild claims and then not say and anything else about. Them. Okay, so well, one thing I want to say besides the fact that the Swoop video is unnecessarily long at over four hours, I, I think it's very repetitive, but also then I it kind of felt icky when she brought Josh in for an interview and it was like for shock value, like, oh, our surprise guest I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm thinking about it too deeply, but it just kind of feels icky. And I don't know, like, if you want to make documentary-style videos, then I don't think you should do things for shock value. Because then it's not really a documentary. That's more of, like, reality TV says somebody who is working in reality TV. So before I wrap this section up, I need to directly address the Johnny stands and everybody who has spoken out privately to me. I have a feeling that your gut instinct here might be anger, confusion, and sadness over having all of your friends' story exposed to the world. It's why I haven't named you, even though you're adults now, because all of this started when you were kids. Your experiences are valid, and just like I believe these people who have spoken against Johnny, I believe you, but I also need to know why Johnny himself told me your correspondence was inappropriate and wrong. I, I also want to add that if someone specifically messaged Whoop and told her they weren't comfortable with her using them in these 
story that it is incredibly I irresponsible to do that. And I just want to make this video to show all sides and not just one, because I do think Swoop is wrong in a lot of situations. That doesn't mean I'm like she's a bad person, but I do think even people with good intentions can get hurried away and do the wrong thing sometimes. And I, I also want to be clear that I'm not saying what Johnny did was okay, because it definitely was not. But I want to be clear that Swoop trying to make the argument that because Johnny has done this to people means it's never been done to him when, in fact, we see there's a such thing as the cycle of uh, abuse, and that is when victims can become her perpetrators and while that's not okay and it's not justified it still doesn't mean Johnny was never a, a, a victim and I think Swoop should know better but she's another pop psychology youtuber so what can you really expect i just wish she would post a, a version without leaps i highly doubt swoop will see this video but if you do could you please consider in the future not using bleeps and just editing out the words that you don't want to say because of the algorithm but I, I, I think the reason I want to make this video is number one to admit when I'm wrong and to make sure I'm not presenting information I know to be false and then when I do when I do have a a, a fuller picture of what happened and when it's different than what I originally portrayed because that was all the information I had. I think it's important to come out and let people know because I don't want to be spreading falsehoods. But also, I don't want this to detract from any of the other victims. There are always going to be bad people in every group and people trying to take advantage of a situation and gain publicity from a situation. But I don't want that to be used against the real victims in a case. In my opinion, Johnny basically did what Cody Tyler did. She made herself the victim when she was, in fact, one of the perpetrators. I also just want to say that I still always want to err on the side of believing victims. I don't want to have to question every victim and make them feel like they have to prove they're a true victim. This happens a lot in cases of SA, where certain people are believed over others, and then people are like, oh, she she's probably mad because it was a one-night stand, and she wanted more, and he didn't. I don't want... I don't want going forward to constantly be scrutinizing victims, and I'm not going to because I know how hard it is to be not believed and to be skewered for literally not doing anything wrong and trying to come out with your story. I think it's disgusting that Johnny did this when he knows there are lots of victims out there and when he knows he himself became one of the perpetrators and was involved in these group chats as an adult. He was in these group chats with minors. 
I, I think that's gross. But also, part of me does wonder if he was at some point a victim. And that's why he became a perpetrator. And don't get me wrong, I'm not giving him ex excuses because nothing can justify that behavior. But I do think that we, he can ignore the fact that a lot of victims, especially if they do not get proper support, a lot of times, sadly, they'll become perpetrators, but they still do need to be held uh, accountable. And that is why I'm not giving Jahani any outs or any excuses. I know a lot of people when situations happen like this, they'll say things like, oh, I had a bad feeling all along. But I don't think that's helpful in a case like that because people say this about victims all the time that they have a bad feeling about them. People hate Adam McIntyre because they think he's built his career off of Colleen Ballinger, which I don't agree. I think he has a career in his own right, but a lot of people make that argument, and I don't want this situation to become that, like, oh, I knew it, of course, because he needed all this attention. Because I think that can quickly also be rejected um, to other people, so I want to be really careful there but yeah that's about all i had to say in this video i hope i hope you learned something and i do ap apologize for defending johnny i didn't know better i've always erred on this side of believing victims but there are times when people pretend to be victims so I'm very sorry that I defended him and that I just was a part of spreading his narrative which has harmed other victims. But again, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Bye.